Hey guys, so we're looking at the photoelectric effect, right? And as the name suggests, photo comes from light, electric comes from electrons, and we have the effect that light has on electrons, right? So today we'll be looking at the factors that affect photoelectric effect, the energy that each electron carries, the work function, the threshold frequency, the stopping potential, and we look at the equation kinetic energy equals EV naught. Right? So the first thing is what is the photoelectric effect? So the photoelectric effect is the use of light to cause electrons to move out of a metal. Right? So in this diagram here, we have light being subjected to a metal and electrons being emitted. But in everything in physics, then we have to have the factors that affect how light will cause electrons to be expelled from a metal, right? So the factors that we look at are one, the intensity of the light. So the intensity tells us the amount of power that's emitted to a specific area of the metal. Right? And that's what we normally call as linking it to the brightness of the light. Right? So that's one. The second one is the frequency. So the frequency of the light. Right? So the frequency of the light tells us how fast relates to the speed. So how much wave is being produced by this specific light. Right? The energy of the light. So the energy of the light, how much energy the light is actually projecting onto the, the metal. Right? So these are the factors that affect the photoelectric effect of why electrons will start leaving a metal. Right? So therefore, since electrons will leave a metal, then that means we have energy that these electrons have, right? So electrons leaving the metal has a kinetic energy because they are moving, right? And this energy is the HF. So the energy that the electrons leave in with equals H, which is Planck's constant, And this value is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joule second. Right? And then H, we know, would be the, the frequency that the electron is being emitted at. So this equation is important for the photoelectric effect because it tells us how much, how much energy each electron will be leaving with. Right? Then we look at the work function, right? So because electrons will be leaving a metal, it's going to exhibit some, or experience rather, some resistance to the material, right? So if we look at the electron inside the metal, right? When light hits that electron, it has to overcome a specific thickness of the metal as well as resistance from the metal in order for it to leave. So that's known as the work function. So the work function is the minimum energy that's required for an electron to have before it can leave the metal. Right? So the work function symbol is denoted by that symbol there. Right? And that is equal to H times F naught. Right? So if you notice, it's similar to the, the energy that the electrons have. It's just that now we have a new term there that's called F naught. And that leads us to our next term there, which is a threshold frequency. So F naught is our threshold frequency, which is the minimum frequency that the light that's emitted to the metal needs to have 
for the electrons to actually leave the metal. Okay? So now that we have a resistive force, which if it's a resistive energy, and we have the energy that the electrons have, we can use these two equations to find the exact kinetic energy that the electrons have. Energy that's being supplied minus the energy that the electron needs in order for it to leave the metal. So once it leaves the metal, then it now, once you subtract that from the energy that is given, you get how much energy that the electrons have when it's leaving the metal. Okay? Then we look at the stopping potential. Now the stopping potential is a factor that is experienced <coughs> sorry, when the electrons are actually moving from the metal. So as the name says, stopping, so it's the voltage that is applied to your metal in order for it to actually stop electrons from leaving it. And so your stopping potential is that voltage value that is supplied to your metal. If so, if you connect this metal to a battery, so it's the amount of voltage that the battery can supply in order for electrons when light is emitted to it to not leave the metal. Right? And the stopping potential is given by the V0. So V0 represents your stopping potential. Right? So that's where we get our kinetic energy, which is equal to E V0. So E here represents the charge of an electron, and the V0 there represents your stopping potential. Right? So <clears throat> in recapping, or factors that affect photoelectric effect, the intensity of the light, the frequency at which the light is traveling, and the energy that the light has. The energy that the light has is given by the equation E equals HF. E represents Planck's constant, F represents the frequency of the light. And we look at the work function, which is your minimum energy that the light needs to have in order for it to actually cause electrons to emit the metal, which is given by Planck's constant times the threshold frequency. Now the threshold frequency is your minimum frequency that the light needs to have in order for it to cause electrons to start to leave the metal. All right, so we get the total kinetic energy leave of the e electrons leaving the metal to be the energy supplied to the metal minus the energy, the work function, which is your minimum energy needed for the electrons to leave. All right, we look at the stopping potential, which is the voltage supply, the minimum voltage supply that causes electrons to stop coming from the, the metal when light is emitted to it. And we look at Ke, which is equal to Ev0. E represents your electron charge, and E there, electron charge, is the 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. Right? And V0 is your stopping potential value. So the question here states that light of intensity, so let's write down what we've given. So intensity of the light is given by 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2 watt per meter squared. So light of intensity, 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2 watt per meter squared. And wavelength, which is lambda, is equal to 250 times 10 to the negative 9 meters, is incident onto a surface of area 1 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared. The iron surface reflects 95%. So it reflects 95% of the light, right? And the frequency, frequency of the light or iron is 1.1 times 10 to the 15 hertz, right? 
right? So the first part here we're going to calculate is the intensity of light available for photoelectric light. So the intensity of the light that is upheld. So remember that it's 95% of the light was reflected. So that means 5% is actually available for a photoelectric effect to happen. So we can find 5% of the intensity of the light, which is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2. Right? And that would be equal to. So that's equal to 7.5 times 10 to the negative 4 watt per meter squared. So that's the available intensity of the light since it reflects 95% of the light. Right? The second part there states that we find the number of electrons emitted per second. So the number of electrons emitted is given by the, the power of your of your light over the energy that it gives right so the power of your light over the energy that you give now the power of the light is given by the formula intensity times area so we can have intensity times area over hf Number of electrons equal to the power over HF. Remember, HF is the energy that's being supplied, right? But the question gives us the, the wavelength of the energy of the light being emitted or projected to your metal. So that means C equals lambda F. So make F the subject, which is C over lambda, and we put it here, so we get lambda over C to replace Right? So we have the intensity of the light, which is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 2 times the area, which is 1 times 10 to the negative 4 times the lambda that is given, which is 250 times 10 to the negative 9 all over Planck's constant, which is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 34, times C, which is the speed of light, which is 3 times 10 to the 8. Right? So when we calculate all that, so we get 1.88 times 10 to the 12, and it's electrons. Right? Part 3 says, what's the work function in electron force? So remember, Work function is that symbol equals H F naught. Right? So we have E H, which is 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34, times F naught, which is the threshold frequency given from the question, which is 1 by 1 times 10 to the 15 hertz. Alright, so when we calculate. So we get 7.29 times 10 to the negative 19 true, right? But the question asks us to do it in electron volts, right? Converting from our joule that we have here to your electron volt. So we should know that one electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 true. So that's a standard constant that you should be aware of, right? So if we want to find the electron volt, we can put that as x equals, we just calculated this to be 7.29 times 10 to the negative 19 joule. So if we cross multiply, right, then we have x is equal to 7.29 times 10 to the negative 19 over the 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19, and we get to get 4.56 EV, right? So EV is another unit for energy. And the last question here says, what is the stopping? 
is equal to E V naught. So the question here is to find V naught, which is equal to the kinetic energy over E. But we also know that Ke is equal to the energy supply minus your work function, right? So therefore, we had the energy that was supplied to be, right, so we have the energy that is being supplied, which is HF. Remember from here, F is, the H is Planck's constant. F is C, which is 3 times 10 to the negative 8 over the lambda. And lambda there is 250 times 10 to the negative 9 minus, so this is the energy that is supplied, minus HF naught, which is the work function, which we just found to be 7.29 times 10 to the negative 19. Right? So when we calculate all that, we get kinetic energy. So we get 6.7 times 10 to the negative 20 joule. All right, so now we have the kinetic energy that electrons leave the metal with. So we can put that there over the charge of an electron, which is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 90. 4.19 times 10 to the negative 1 voltage, right? So this is a brief synapse of the photoelectric effect.